in reality, you financially lose out, right? Because, like, the people who do that, where they destroy an Xbox or a PlayStation, they're destroying, what, a $150 to $300 console, depending on which version you're buying. That's its value now. They were more expensive when they came out, of course. So, a couple hundred dollars destroyed on the console. All the accessories, like the controller, the headset, things like that, you know, a couple hundred bucks if they got some real good high-tier shit. We'll say we're up to about 500 bucks now. And then, like, all the games that are now completely useless because you've destroyed their property. They're, like, 60 bucks a pop. Sometimes more expensive so like it, if, you, if you have like a dozen of them you're pushing almost a thousand bucks like you're you're really getting up there depending on which versions of which games you're buying so i, I don't understand the mentality where it's like yes oh my god yes oh my god this took like so long this took so this like like this took like three days this run oh my god necessarily is going to fucking happen. finally it's going to just suddenly respect you for doing that it's going to be some shit that just changes their life where they're like well now that dad has destroyed 800 dollars worth of my video games that he bought me over the years i respect him a lot more now i think he's a really good person and every time that i have some like a mistake going on in my life i'll make sure that i let him know i don't try and hide shit behind him i don't go behind his back when i'm doing things